Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Trab Lab X5. These are TWS wireless earphones that sells for 69 bucks, and this is the updated 2020 edition of the X5s, which were pretty popular for this company. It was first introduced in 2018, but that older model had Bluetooth version 4.2, versus this 2020 model has been refreshed with the latest Bluetooth 5.0 standard. They have a small in-ear hook that prevents them from falling loose even if you're performing vigorous sports, exercising, jogging up and down. It lasts up to 35 hours with the battery case, which has also improved battery endurance compared to the older model. There's a wealth of accessories in the box, including an instruction manual and a pretty large selection of tips, including adjustable wings that you can use to get a tighter seal, and then the actual in-ear tips. There's the regular silicon types, and there's also memory foam tips included. The foam tips are going to be more noise isolating, preventing sound from leaking out or leaking in. They're more comfortable for long-term listening, although it also dampens the bass a little bit, and it's not quite as waterproof as silicon. A closer look at the design, the body is constructed out of a soft touch rubber material which does make it feel very grippy and comfortable. We have the company's logo and then on the side here there is a button that you can press on to kind of see how much battery is left in the case. There is also the charging port which is unfortunately still using micro USB. It would have been nice to see a newer type C standard. The lid to the case opens up pretty easily and inside we have just the X5 buds presented right on top definitely has a very distinctive look to it, and whenever you open up the battery case, the buds themselves will begin to pair. The only slight con is I feel the top lid component is a bit more hollow compared to the base, uh, but you can clamp shut using a click to close down the battery door. It's not held magnetically, but has a mechanical lock, so it's uh, quite secure when you close it up. The charging contacts are located towards the stem, as you can see there, and if we take a closer look, there is a notification light that will glow when it's pairing, when it's connected, and there's also physical buttons located on the stems that you can use to change both the volume in addition to skip tracks. It's quite unique to see physical buttons on TWS buds, reminds me a little bit of the MIFO 05s in that sense. The top of the stems features the company's logo, and I like the contrast between the glossier top component and also the more matte plastic on the base. As a quick size comparison of the casing here, here it is next to the previous Treb Lab TWS buds we reviewed, which was the X-Fit. We can see that the X-Fit are significantly smaller in terms of their dimensions. These are kind of micro buds. However, it also isn't quite as sports-oriented since these little wings do provide more security. So if you're doing more vigorous sports, that's where the X5 will shine a little more. The casing next to some other popular models like Apple's AirPods, you can see that the thickness is actually not too far off. It is a little bit longer, but still slides easily into a pocket. A size difference between the buds themselves, the AirPods and the X5s. You can see that the stem sizes are pretty similar, although we have a full in-ear design versus a semi-in-ear with the AirPods. All right, so moving into audio quality and performance, the X5 2020s generally are impressive. The original 2018 models sounded quite clear and clean, and they were already very good as budget TWS wireless pairs. The newer model here improves on the cleanness of the sound using the latest Bluetooth 5.0 chip. You can also get a slightly longer connection range without noticing any drops. Uh, whenever you play and pause the music, the audio and the video are synced together pretty well. With that being said, this model is still using a Realtek-based chip, but it doesn't support Qualcomm's APTX. So in terms of the absolute latency, it's not the lowest as some of the other more expensive pairs out there. But for something sports-oriented where you're primarily listening to music, it still works without any problems. The left and right sides are connected quite well. In terms of the drivers and sound, these are surprisingly neutral sounding as far as consumer-grade uh, buds are concerned. I say that because I find that these are a little bit cold at times and you're able to pull apart quite a few nuances when you're listening to music, especially orchestral tracks. Maybe you can hear a singer's voice and it's going to be quite pulled apart compared to say the violin, the cello, the drums, the beats. Pretty wide soundstage effect as you're listening. It is again a little bit on the cold side though, so vocals for example aren't super round, but rather you hear the textures of singers' voices and it's a lot more faithful to probably what the recording sounds like in person, but also a departure from most drivers on other pairs like the 
XFIT or the AirPods, which sounds brighter and a bit more expressive sometimes, uh, making for example, singers' voices sound a bit more rich and full. Still, there's a nice amount of bass, and if you're listening to drum beats or again EDM type tracks, you can feel the beat as it thumps, especially when you get a tight seal. They do get quite immersive, and mids also sound very good. Uh, one slight con would be that if you turn the volume all the way down low, you can still occasionally hear a little bit of a faint hum in the background. Um, that is quite common with wireless buds in general, but it's not completely silent, although very few pairs of wireless buds are. Just something to quickly keep in mind. Rock music, anything that has a slightly, I would say, heavier emphasis on the mids or bass is where these do shine quite a bit. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Treb Lab X5 2020 editions. And I really like the design of the buds themselves with their angular shape, as well as their built-in button controls for adjusting things like volume, which is oftentimes missed on cheaper buds. It's nice to see this versatility here. Uh, even for things like watching YouTube clips, the audio and video are synced together fairly well. As long as you're not doing gaming or expecting the lowest latency, I, I think it'll be fine here. So if you like the look, you can check out more details about these in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Treblab X5 2020 edition.